Okay, so I thought about doing a very short like uh, 775 X48 air and water cooling overclocking uh, guide. So uh, especially for the Core 2 Quad CPUs, the 45 nanometer ones. So if you have any of these CPUs, you can use this as a simple guide on how to overclock the CPU and the overall platform to uh, somewhat reasonable uh, speeds. So uh, recently I uh, received a few CPUs from yet another user on our Finnish uh, IT website. So big thanks to Alexi for lending me these CPUs. So at the moment I'm running QX 9650, yet another one in uh, the CPU socket and uh, running the Rampage Extreme motherboard and two sticks of Corsair Dominator GT 1866 Cas7 memories. So uh, I just want to see like uh, what kind of clock can I reach with the CPU. So uh, in my experience a very good let's say like QX9650 can reach uh, 4.5 ish with uh, 1.4 something volts like 1.45 or under but that's for uh, like normal uh, tests like W prime, Pi fast and so on. So if you look for like pure daily stability I recommend you run something like Lynx. Lynx is a very fine test for these old CPUs that don't have so many uh, instruction sets like compared to modern CPUs. But anyway, so let's enter the bars by pressing F1. Now I will load my binning profile. And uh, yeah, so we will straight away try for uh, 4.25. So one multiplier lower or one notch lower from 4.5 so 500 times 9 would be 4.5 this will be 4.25 for 200 strap yes uh, these two are the best performing ones so you need to test these yourself some boards can only run 333 stra strap but do not ever try to use the 400 strap because it's a bugged one the highest performing one is the 200 megahertz strap but very often you cannot use this particular strap on LN2 when going very when going like uh, very high on the FSP. So now I will be using the 200 strap, which can also reach the lowest possible uh, performance level values, especially performance level uh, five. So 2,000 megahertz on the memory. This depends on your kit. So uh, daily timings would be like a very good kit you could reach, let's say 787, 21, and uh, the same. Uh, sub timings but in this example i will be doing uh, 675 20 but this of course requires quite high voltage on these particular uh, sticks these sub timings are fine you can copy these if you wish uh, dram static and dynamic these are recommended to set to disabled for better dram overclocking uh, capability skews i leave at auto these you can set manually if you wish. Remember, performance level 5 is the lowest one you can reach, which has the best performance, and it's only possible on the 200 MHz strap. But now I will just leave them at auto. Voltage-wise, 1.4. VTT, 1.35, should be good. Northbridge, 1.55. This is heavily dependent on the, uh, uh, on the memory configuration you wish to run. On these ports, you very often have to find like a sweet spot value on the Northbridge voltage to reach the uh, memory configuration you wish to test. Usually, when I uh, test like a new board, like a new Rampage Extreme or P5E3 Premium, I first start at 1.55 on the Northbridge when trying, let's say, 2675 MEMS. If that doesn't work, I, f I then drop to, let's say, 1.43, 1.41, then I come back up incrementally if that didn't work like 1.45 1.48 and then if those don't work i go above the 1.55 some boards require very low value on this particular wall it's like 1.4 1.43 and they will never post the 2000 megahertz profile with something like 1.6 or 1.7 but that depends on your particular motherboard so this is one of the hardest points on 775 x48 memory overclocking and memory voltage is only dependent on the kit itself. This kit ne needs like 1.49 for uh, this particular profile. This is my uh, like disposable test kit which I'm running. So these are the settings. For my test purposes I've disabled all of the onboard devices but of course you don't want to disable any of these for like daily 
type use if you need to connect to internet or so on or use audio and so on but yeah so now I will just do F10 and save and exit so that was very easy so now in the operating system and if we open CPU Z we can find Intel Core 2 Extreme QX9650 at roughly 1.39 volts, 4 to 50 megahertz, so 500 times 8.5. Four cores, four threads, Rampage Extreme latest BOSS, and 2675 2072 common rate 1. Now, as I already said, if you uh, look for daily kind of stability, try something like Lynx. That's a very good program for these old CPUs as these don't have any of the newer instruction sets like ADX and so on. These are so old CPUs, so something like Lynx will do just fine, but of course you can use Prime95 as well. But for my quick testing purposes, I always use uh, W Prime, like W Prime32 and then PyFast. PyFast is a very tough one. For me, PyFast is harder to pass than uh, W Prime32 and Super Pi 32 and on 775. I don't know what's the reason, at least on water cooling. So uh, just quickly, let's try uh, W Prime 32 first. But my gut feeling for this particular uh, CPU model is that uh, if you can do like 4.5 W Prime 32 and so on uh, at 4.5 with like something like 1.45 volts, then that's a def that's definitely a very good QX 9650. So let's start the test. Now, uh, for some reason, the first two cores have a bugged temperature reading. So they were at 45 at idle and now 45 under load. So that cannot be correct, but uh, shouldn't be too hot anyways. So 9.4 seconds passed just fine. And we can quickly try Pi fast. It should pass with ease. And if it passes, then we will just go back to the bars and raise the multiplier up by one and then play with voltage. So that's pretty easy how it goes and we crashed interesting okay so I forgot so this particular motherboard requires 1.63 on the north bridge voltage when both of the memory channels have been populated with uh, LP the hyper based memory stick sticks uh, at this uh, configuration so I had only 1.55 it's only enough for channel B on this board but channel A requires uh, 1.63 so uh, that was my issue so now it passed just fine at the same speed and same voltage on the CPU so you have to be very careful but for some reason PyFast is a very tough test on 775 so now let's go back to the BIOS and let's raise the multiplier but I think 4.5 needs more on the vehicle on the CPU Okay, so uh, now I booted 4.5 at 1.475 volts set, 1.48 on CPU Z, but I think this will fail. So let's just open uh, Core Temp, although it wasn't that good. And uh, W Prime 32, but this might crash. 57C, 58, 48, and we crashed. So uh, maybe 1.5. Okay, so now I set 1.51 on the voltage, 1.52. So let's try one more time, but I don't really like to go beyond this value when it comes to vehicle. So let's just try this briefly. I think it was 58C on the voltage, I mean on the temperatures. So 58, 51, 51. You know, so the first two cores, they are definitely bucked, so they cannot read lower than 45C so it should be weird but yeah we passed just fine and now let's try uh, now let's try pi fast and if you are wondering why I have so loud fan in the background that's because I'm using a relatively strong fan towards the north bridge on the motherboard as well as the socket area and the memory the north bridge does heat up so uh, you definitely want to have like adequate adequate cooling on the north bridge so uh, we passed 20.23 points or seconds so uh, yeah this is pretty much the max for this particular uh, QX9650 so this is how you actually overclock this particular uh, 
CPU and Gen up to 4.5. So uh, with this particular CPU, I could maybe reach a daily overclock of let's say 4.2 to 4.3. But of course, that doesn't really matter that much anymore in 2021 because people don't really run this old uh, uh, platform and CPU for daily use uh, in 2021. So just saying. But uh, I just wanted to give you like rough idea how I bin these CPUs and uh, how you actually overclock these. So this is pretty much the easy way to test it. So uh, if you find a QX9650 that does this particular uh, speed in W Prime 32 and in PyFast with a vehicle of let's say 1.4 volts or even uh, lower than that, then uh, I would happily like to test that one. So uh, you can contact me and send that particular uh, CPU over my place, so just saying. But yeah, so if you like to see this very short video when it comes to uh, uh, Core 2 Quad uh, CPU overclocking on the 775 platform, especially on X48, then uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.